N O M L. Okay, how about now? Can you guys hear me now? Did they do it? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, YouTube. So, shall I start again? Let me know if you can hear me. And then I can get started. I'll have to edit that part. There I am. Okay. I don't know what the problem was. Uh, YouTube really slow. So let's start again. I was chatting away apparently to nobody. So, hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today we're going to talk about picking a quilt design for your quilt. So welcome everybody. Sorry about that. That was a little strange, but YouTube works in mysterious ways. So regarding the quilt design, now there's many ways of doing this. This is just one that I wanted to show you guys. Um, that's kind of fun. I could play with it all day. But you can always pick your design and print it out on a template. Like there's many ways. So hopefully there won't be any, you know, negative comments saying, I'm not going to buy this. I'm not telling you to buy this. I'm just going to show you guys the way that I found is really fun. So, and I use different ways. This, if I'm just sitting at my desk trying to come up with ideas, works really well. So I am in perfect embroidery professional um, in the tool shed. Now you don't have to have the full program to be able to do this. It's an add-on program and it's called My Quilt Embellisher. And it's a whole lot of fun. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go here and I am, these are all my extra stuff. I'm going to make this one default. So if you were running it standalone, this is pretty much what you would see. So just to make it a little easier for you guys to, to know, you don't have to, if you have perfect embroidery pro, you don't have to, because all of it is accessible here. I'll probably still grab them from here, but just know it's all up here. So what can we do? Um, I played around with designs and then echoes for the designs which looks really cool that's an extra one um it looks really cool and you can add fabric to the blocks there's so many things you could do i literally played with this about for about um two hours two hours or so yesterday day before it was just so much fun and there's so many things you can do with it. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bite of it. So that's how it would look, the quilting would look. If I turn on the 3D, you can see it a little bit better. A nice uh, square echo quilt around it. Now, if you wanted to do each triangle, you could do that too. I'm gonna show you guys. So here again, I'm playing around. Let's turn on the 3D so you can see it better. And these are different blocks. This is without the blocks blocks and I thought that was kind of groovy it's like a triple stitch and this one I got really fancy that's the one that you guys saw right here behind me just for fun and this one I did two different designs on it on each triangle so one of the really cool things is that it will print out the designs that you need um, so it kind of works and it's kind of fun. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is pick your block and we can play around with colors. We can do a whole bunch of things, but there are a ton of blocks in here to pick from. Now it doesn't have to be, you know, a hundred percent exact. It, it just, you know, give you a good idea of what you want to do but they're they're kind of complicated they're kind of but tons tons i know that one's called snail trail which is really cool um i have this one i like this one it's spool 
spool thing. Eight patch, eight point stars. So really, it's a visual of ideas. Now, if you click on one and nothing shows, then you have to open it up. So look, still more, still more, still more. Susan Weehy is here. Hello, uh, Tracy Powell. So if you have no programs but have the dream, what is the basic program I can buy to do the things? Okay, you can get the tool shed. Tool shed is basically the box that keeps all the design or all the programs in. So Perfect Embroidery Professional is the digitizing software. And this one is, um, it's an add-on. Now you have to check with your dealer. Um, and I, I don't know if it's on the website or not, but it is an add-on to it. And there's a couple more I want to show you guys. But look at all these, look at all these geese, flying geese. That's fun. So you really have a lot of choices, but also you really have a lot of ideas. I really like it. Um, some of these are getting kind of busy. Now, if you have AccuQuilt, you can match the sizes of it. And it is um, uh, easy to create these blocks if you have the right AccuQuilt, I, I think the cubes. So that's just something to keep in mind. Squares and stripes, isn't that fantastic? All right, so you could... Uh, is this a Windows only program? No, all of the Perfect Embroidery Professional series and add-ons, you need to go to the website inspired um, inspired by, well, it's d dzgns.com, Designs and Machine Embroidery. Um, and you get a Mac key and it's free. And you put that in, it's a little program that'll download, then your designs will work on a Mac. So yes, and I'm actually going to be doing a video on that uh, sometime soon. So let's pick our block. What are we going to pick? We could do four triangles. Oh, let's do just a simple four patch. Yeah, Mac 2, Misha says. It's Mac 2, yes. Um, and I'll be showing you guys that. So, okay, we've got our block. Everything fits delightfully in. I like it. Now I want to put it back because I want to show you guys. This is all artwork. This is all artwork. So there's no stitches anywhere on this one. What software is this? It is My Quilt Embellisher. My Quilt Embellisher. Hmm. Maybe I could write it somewhere. I'll keep saying it. My quilt embellisher. That's what it is. And these are the options that you have. So I'm just going to walk you through them. So you can select your fabric, which you absolutely don't have to. However, it's kind of cool and it's kind of fun. So let's just pick one and look, there's tons of fabric. So let's just pick one. And I really like how it adjusts the print on it. So let's see how big this is. This is what I, so it's an eight by eight um, block, which is perfect. Perfect. So, okay, then the next thing we can do, you have to select the block. Let's p pick a purple one. And now we can add a texture and this button here converts it. So you don't have to do um, anything else. It's My Quilt Embellisher by Dime, Designs and Machine Embroideries. And Toolshed is a free program. So you can get Toolshed right now. It's, it's nice for different things and it's free. So you can't, you know, you can't complain. So textures. So what are textures? Well, they are different uh, motif stitches. You can see these are the ones that we did in class which was a whole lot of fun. And yes, you can use them right in the program, which is cool, but it gives it a texture. And uh, that's really nice and so many choices. I think that's awesome. So the next one is stippling and uh, that's really cool. Just click. So one click, you have your stippling, which fits perfectly inside the block. You also have options. 
So there's different kind kinds of stippling and you can change the stitch length. I kind of like that one actually. That's kind of cool. And you can change the density. So changing the density would just, let's bring it up like one. So look here and apply. It just moves it further apart. So it really depends on what you want for it. And uh, so that's easy. That's one click. What else do we have? Advanced stippling is more. That's all it is, is more. But look at all these motif stitches that you can do. Oh, I'm like, wow, let's try that one. Let's try that one. How cool is that? So again, you can make all the adjustments that you want. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So now you have a perfectly fit quilting stitch in there. Isn't that gorgeous? I love swirly things for no apparent reason. So, okay, moving on. Echo quilting, we can do that. I can show it to you just, uh, actually I'll show it to you on this one. So um, let's see, contour. So echo, we have to do another step for that, which I'll show you guys in a minute. So look, there you go, contour, easy as pie. Let's see, and I converted the whole thing. So that's why it changed. Um, wave, let's see what we got. That's kind of cool, but not really a quilting stitch. Um, so you can do shape as well. And you can do motif stitches easily enough, just anything you like. I really enjoy the stippling. Um, shape echo, which is just what I did there. Now, of course, again, you have to change the density. This is kind of like crazy at this small, but see, it looks better. If you had something in the middle, you can quilt around it. So, um, are we missing, am I missing questions? How's everyone going, doing? Yes, Marjorie, thank you very much. So, so far, this is pretty easy, but I, I'm gonna make it better. So let's go to the embellishment part. Now we have all these two to go through. So embellishment, so what is this? Well, these are quilt designs. And uh, again, like everything else in this program, there are tons of them. You can use your own. You can, if you have the digitizing part, you can make your own. You could bring in ones. Um, you don't have to just only use their library. Everything is open. Oh, look at this one. Let's do this one. So all you have to do, like it goes further and further. There's so many of them to pick. And uh, let's pick one and it automatically sizes it and puts it in for you. So let's put the 3D on it. Now that does look a little squishy, but you know, we're only on the 3D, so we're not gonna worry about it too much. Um, I think that that's how they show a triple stitch. So with our four blocks, um, wow really cool i think i like this one the best and i think i like this one the best isabel thank you very much sorry i just kind of bumped everything so that is like the first part of it so let's go through some of these embellishments so you can basically have the um block behind it with the fabric and you can add what you want to it and kind of have a look you can play around with thread colors look at all these though and it, it just sizes to what you want now if you want for example let's get rid of this because there's a lot of ways of doing it i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna pick this block so we're kind of starting again so this block i'm just gonna leave the colors and if we want to do the whole thing, then we're going to make a rectangle. So shapes um, that you can pull out. So shapes. There we go. So now I've got a shape. I can see it's down here. Zero stitches because it's an outline. So we want that because I want to do an all over design on this block. And let's pick something really cool. Paisleys are nice. We could do that in the center. 
and I'm going to click on it. Okay, well, that one didn't fit into the... Oh, because it's different. I'm doing it differently. Um, look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because we are going to add more to it. Now, another really cool thing when you do these, uh, when you bring them in... Judy, thank you. Hi, Karina. Did you hear Sue bump the mic? No, I didn't bump the mic. I bumped my keyboard rest. So no, no. So another thing that's really cool, do you guys see the outline here? It's a little bit difficult to see, but it's right there. Maybe I could turn the color. But when you bring them in, it automatically gives you an outline. So that saves you a step. So all the built-in ones have this outline. So what can you do with that? Well, let's uh, select the outline and select the square outline. And what we want to do is right up here is combine. Combine is what you use when you have um, not stitches sort of thing. And I'm going to select combine. And if you look down here in the icon, um, it's the square with the circle. So what does that mean? Let's select it. And we can add um, echo quilting. And this one takes a little bit. Look at that. How many clicks? You didn't have to make an outline. You didn't have to do anything. And it puts beautiful lines on it. So if you were to make this bigger, so let's go back, back one, um, back two, because I don't want them combined. If you were to take this whole design, the outline, and this and make it bigger and for some reason you wanted it off to the side or something you can do that just do the same thing select and select and combine don't forget the combine step and uh, echo quilting and it'll go around your design however you place it so that saves a lot of steps um, and if you don't like it, then you just, you know, go back and delete it and uh, try another one. So, or if it was off a little bit, there we go. Let's, let's make that one a little bit better. They're nicely grouped, so I'm happy for that. So one, two, and combine. And, uh, well, we could stipple. We could do an advanced stippling. Let's just pick what so many to choose from. And these are gorgeous quilt stitches too. I I sit and I look at them. I love fonts and motif sit stitches. What is the name of the software that you were using? It is an add-on program that can be standalone or um, used with uh, Perfect Embroidery Professional and it's called My Quilt Embellisher. And it's quite spectacular. Like I said, I've had a lot of fun. I could literally play with it forever. So I just picked like a motif st stitch or an advanced quilting um, stitch. Yeah. David Weaver, hello, hello. So even on my computer, this guy's thinking a little bit. It sometimes I notice goes not responding and what it is is don't panic and don't click anything you just give it a minute and the motif stitches are really small so it really had to think about it i don't think you want to do motif stitches or advanced stippling stitches that small so how about we make them bigger so you have total control of what you want see does not look better so that's all it was, is it was just thinking. So give your computer a minute. So nice thing. Look at this. Go to, I'm not actually going to print it, but I'll go to print preview. And um, there you go. That's your whole pattern. And of course, you get all the crosshairs. And you can just print it out on the, you know, sticky papers and or just print it out and cut it out like I've done. And uh, you can uh, get stitching. So, so far, that's so easy to do and it's so much fun. 
I really like it, but there's so many options. So what else do we have here? Well, we have lettering, so you can add lettering to it. Now, um, that would be pretty as a more Trapunto design. Yep, yep. The combinations, like there, there's just so much you can do. I think this Paisley one would look nice. So we've got the text tool, but first I want to show you this, borders. So they've thought of everything. So if you want to do a quilt block with, you know, the like a label, look at all the options you have for this. Tons of options. And all you have to do is, let's pick this one, bring it in, and I'm just going to pull it over because we don't really want it on this block. Uh, you can change the colors. You can do whatever you want with it. It's just a, a simple block. So if you had the next square was just a square, you could put this on it, put some um, echo stitching around it, and uh, then you can add your lettering, which is super cool. So built-in labels, quilt labels. I'm just going to put my name. Uh, lots of fonts to choose from. There's a ton, a ton. You can do all the fancy stuff as well. So we'll just put it there, put my name, put the date. There you go, a whole block, tons to choose from. So you could just take a flat piece of fabric and make it gorgeous with these quilt designs and thread. Yeah, you could. You absolutely could. You could come up with a combination that looks amazing and you can make a whole quilt out of it easily 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 i'm glad you see that misha because that's what i've been doing so but wait there's more <laughs> believe it or not there's more um you could add a um decor so they're just swirly designs that you might want to add on to sashing or anything like that. I'll pull one out so you can see them. And they're beautiful. Like even this one plus the one I did is stunning. So if you wanted to do it something like this, then there you go. Okay, so lots of fun, lots of um, blocks to choose from. Let's go to a new one, uh, new and we'll pick just a plain block as Misha says and we've got our plain block and it usually comes in eight by eight so I always check and um, then we can go ahead and pick what we want so I'm particularly fond of the designs in here look at the squares look at the swirls you know I love swirls as silly as that is um, butterfly ones, look at the detail in it. I mean, that would be one that you could do for quilting. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger. And if you don't want to pull them out like I do, I just do that out of habit. Go over here and you can set the size. So we've got an eight by eight block. So maybe we want this at around six. So automatically resizes it um, properly. So how beautiful is that? So as before, we have our built-in outline. And what do we have to do? We have to do a shape. And we're going to do a square. There we go. And then we're going to click, right-click, and combine. And once you do that, then you can add whatever you want with it. So I, I, I like the echo quilting. Is going to think about it again. Isn't that pretty? Um, let's change the density to like five or something and see. So I just put five and apply and look, there's a little more space. I don't know which one I like better. Karina's, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, does anyone have any questions? Because there's so many things you can do. Once you do that combine, you can just play like it, it's serious playing. So let's um, contour. Meh. Shape echo is OK, too. It adds to it. Stippling is just, you know, traditional. But look at this beautiful stippling. 
and you don't have to worry about it it is all done yeah I kind of like this one it's called piano I didn't know there was different kinds so I, I think that's really cool and yes that is a quilt block so why don't we take um, the a uh, decor because we're doing this in the hoop on our embroidery machine that we can add satin stitches we can um, add anything that we want to it because we could just stitch it out you just got to make sure it's in the right order so how about something like this and put it at the bottom the creativity level is incredible so that makes it look a little bit better look at that isn't that pretty? You know what? You could put that um, on all four sides, maybe. I'm just trying to think as I'm doing it. The way I approach it is that I just do everything that I can think of. So I'm going to, I copied and pasted, um, control C, control V. So I'm going to have that one selected and I'm going to select this one and then I am going to make them even. You do not have to sit there and figure it out. So those two are lined up perfectly. I lined it up on one edge and because they're exactly the same, um, you know, my mother did something similar on my wedding cake. She made shapes and then stipples around it and it was stunning. Awesome. But isn't this quite the quilt block we have already? So I paste it again because I already copied and um, these ones are nicely grouped. So we want it straight, but how about like this even? This is, this is kind of what I was thinking. Now you'd have to, you know, even it out a bit more. How about we um, copy and we paste this one so we don't have to turn it around. But I think that is a gorgeous quilt block so I'm going to select one and I'm going to select the opposite one and then I'm going to line them up well we better do top and bottom and if you get these wrong the alignment ones don't worry about it um, because it's uh, you just go back so while I have both of them selected I'm going to kind of center it a little bit more so look at that how cool is that what is the software that I'm using? It is an add-on to um, the Toolshed Toolbox, which is a free program from Dime. And I have Perfect Embroidery Professional, um, but the add-on that we're using is called My Quilt Embellisher. And in two minutes, we created this design just by playing and I really do think it would be beautiful to stitch out. Let's make the background white and we could also actually do right here. Make sure I'm, I'm making sure I'm selecting the right one. So that's over. Hmm. But you could add fabric to it or you could change the color, the whole back. Is the quilt block required to do this? No, you don't have to you don't have to do anything with the quilt block. It's just really cool that you can, for sure. I found it quite handy. It's kind of, you know, audition it. See, you could just pull up the design and make this one big. And uh, actually, you can see the built-in outline to it already. Aren't these little owlies cool? Um, does this work on a Mac? Yep, you have to get a Mac key from their website and put on, put the key on first, and then Toolshed, like I said, is free, and then My Quilt Embellisher is also free. Now, I don't think I have time to show you guys today, but I, I just want to quickly show you something. So let's go and we can delve into it a little bit more. But along with my quilt embellisher is my block piecer and my quilt planner. So there's a lot more to do with this. So that is the piecing of the blocks. It's quite handy. So you get a pattern to do it 
in the hoop. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Not at all. But this one, uh, my quilt planner is probably my favorite one. Uh, there's so much you can do on it. How we've done? Ah, let's do it. So let's pick um, a quilt. Mm, what are we going to 36 by 36. I want eight inch blocks because that's my favorite size. So it's not going to be 36 inch. It brought it in a little bit more block shape rectangle uh diamond ha, look at that isn't that cool so yeah you can really do everything you want in here and again this is another add-on program um and it's called my quilt planner and this is i just wanted to show you guys what you can do quickly um because it's really cool so i want two inch sashings and I want the top and bottom sashings to be two. I like the cornerstones. And you can change like the border width and everything. Okay, here is the best part. You change colors. So let's do my favorite colors. So orange. So I'm going to do like a pattern like this. And I'm going to change the color again to... Uh, purple and let's do it like this so now we have a pattern and I'm going to show you where this is going in just a minute so um, it's pretty cool so I'm going to select all the horizontal ones and do them green and then I am going to select um, I guess we better do a black or something yep black for the vertical ones and uh, it's pretty cool pretty cool so far so good now what color should the blocks be hmm I kind of used up all my Halloween color stash ideas we could do red eh, why not so then I'm gonna click on the block so you can you know design it out plan it out that's oops I made a mistake that's why it's called my quilt planner and you can use them all together plan out the quilt add your embellishments but let me show you this in a minute okay so black there we go black so that looks pretty good it's all planned and I'm just gonna click OK do I have an affiliate link for dime yes I do it is in the descriptions just scroll down a little bit so okay we've got that you know that doesn't look the greatest so far so um my quilt planner i guess what i can do just hold on my quilt planner i'm going to make that default so you can see all of the um things that we can select so we've picked it uh export quilt i'll show you that after quilt designs so hold on because this is the coolest thing ever I'm gonna pick kind of like a spider webby one I guess and again you can bring in your own and again there's uh you know a fair amount of them it's quite it's quite lovely or you can make your own and bring them in but you can see there's quite a bit I like um like something like that and did you guys see what happened? One went in and then all of the other oranges are the same. So what I'm going to do is resize the one that's highlighted. You can't do anything with the rest of them to make it fit. And they're all the same. So let's do that again. Let's do that again. Um, we're going to pick something different because we're doing a different color. How about, oh, I love this one something like that now look i put them in all of them but all you have to do is slide it over and all the purples are now this design so um how cool is that that's that's very cool that's a, also a time saver one um and i think it's really fun so if you have you know these three quilting things uh, i mean the sky is the limit for it 
So let's pick one for the sashings, because I mean, if you're going to quilt it, you might as well quilt it all the way, right? So I'm used to going over here, <laughs> is why I keep doing that. So what is this? Export quilt design? Oh, I'll show you that in a minute. So we want a sashing one. Hmm. Hmm. Probably pretty simple. I like this one. There we go. Isn't that cool? I hope you guys are just, it's just a quick demo if you want. Oh, is that neat? So now you can see exactly how it looks and you resize the one that's highlighted. Let's, um, you can actually, I think it's right over here. You can look at this. So, oh, it's probably off screen. Ha, there we go. Right here, actually. Um, when you have the active one selecting, you don't have to, you know, play around with it because it's all right here. Fit to cell, center in cell, and uh, block marks. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look. But just with one click, it made it fill the entire cell. So let's try that again. I keep my habit is to go over there. And you can pick the same one if you want. Ooh, these are singles, so pretty. You can pick the same one if you want. And um, it comes in in the middle. And then all we're gonna do is rotate it. This way, I gotta make sure I get it the right way. Although it wouldn't matter at all. So, and then before we do anything else, we are going to fit to sell. So now we have all of that. We've got all the designs done. And um, isn't this cool? I, I, I could also play with this. Sorry, needed a drink. So if you were trying to plan out a quilt, I mean, a lot of the um, quilting comes in you know, already done. So in the hoop quilting, it's already done. But if you wanted to plan something like this to put together and put your own embroidery designs or words or something like that in, this would be how to do it. Um, what about the corner blocks? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you caught me there, Misha. <laughs> yes. So you can go to uh, singles and something like that. Remember, you can do your own, so you can add different things into it. You could um, do it that way. So I'm going to set it there, and then I'm going to fit to block. What is this one? Repeats? Yes, so I want it to repeat. So now let's turn it on so you can see it better. And I'm, I'm a thinking that looks pretty good. So it's just showing you the ones that are, you know, quote unquote, activated. So you can really take a good look at it. So this one you can see in stitches and this one. So if you want to make a change, you know exactly which blocks you need to do. So let's make this one fit. And that looks way better. And if you look, they all changed. And the other one that's active is this, and the other one is this. So what do you guys think? I thought this was so much fun. It is a way to set everything up. And I, I really think it's fantastic. So let's go to File, New. Are you guys keeping up with me? What about the corner blocks? No, I didn't them. Um, okay, so this one is my block piecer, and I'm just going to show you this one. I haven't played with it a ton, but I know what it does. I think, I hope, <laughs> I hope I can come up with it. Um, I need to look at it a little bit more. Cutter, workflow, reorder. So workflow... Uh, it tells you the order, so auto build. And what this is doing is it is setting it up so you can do the quilting in the hoop. Spacing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, preview, select a larger hoop. Well, okay then, let's select a larger hoop. I think we still need it larger, don't we? All right, I probably shouldn't have done this. 
But, you know, let's pick something bigger. I just wanted to give you guys just like a, a quick overview of them. The main one for today is my quilt embellisher and my quilt planner. So it's awesome. So auto build preview. And that's what I wanted to show you guys. So what is this? This looks like a mess. Um, this is in the hoop quilting. And I took the block that they had, and this is literally the planner. Do you know how much time this would save? So you can do the quilt blocks in the hoop, and then you can do the quilting in the hoop and the embroidery. So if you have eight inch blocks, you need a hoop big enough to do eight inches square. Yes, yes. I think this, uh, I didn't look before I did it, but um, yeah, design one, design two. Okay, so isn't that cool? I think it's really neat. So it gives you an outline, it does the line, the whole bit. I'm not gonna save it, but there's a lot of things to, that you could change on it. So this is made up of you know, the block. So what the block two was or design two is just these two. So you'd have to do it four times and then put it together. So, uh, then I can't, my largest is five by seven, but you know, you could make it smaller. So let's make it a five by five, apply, and now you can't do it. So, yes. I mean, there's many other programs. There's many other ways. You can do the um, old-fashioned way of pen and graph paper and figure it out. You can combine already done ones. But I, I just think these are fun. It was actually something I was looking for because I don't know a whole lot about quilting, or I didn't. I'm getting better at it now. And everyone asks the question, how do you figure out what design will work? And a lot of times you can print and, you know, play around with it, grab your fabric, print out a template, see what you think. It's really nice if you use the sticky printing paper, then you can kind of addition it that way, or you can do it on the computer. So many ways of doing the same thing, and it's just a lot of fun, but I just wanted to throw this at you guys. Um, it's interesting. Uh, if you don't buy it, it, I'm not selling it. I don't have an affiliate code. I don't think it works on the computer stuff. I just thought it was cool. And I wanted to, as always, show you guys options because it's nice to know what you can do. And, uh, you know, if you're planning on making 500 quilts, then there we go. Um, so it's fun. And we're going to be working on it. I'm going to be stitching quilts. Um, I, there's so many things I want to do. So... If I were a quilter, I would need this. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm I'm not going to give myself a title because I like the piecing. I love embroidery. That's got to be first. But I like, you know, AccuQuilt and the piecing together. I'm, I'm learning that, still working on it. I like the perfection of the quilting in the hoop uh, because you can set it all up. It's fine. But I'm also trying um, ruler free motion quilting and free motion quilting. Okay, I don't really like the free motion quilting, but the ruler one, apparently I can do that um, just fine. These softwares make you wish you won the lottery. Yeah, I know, right? But you can file it in the back of your brain and if for some reason, you know, you go into business or something and you're making quilts, this is your shortcut. So how much is the quilting program? I have no idea. Um, you'll have to go on the inspiredbydime.com website and check it out. So, I mean, like I said, just an option, just an option, just an idea, just a, 
you know, something to play with. Maybe you can even, I don't know what they do, but maybe they can, um, have like a, um, a demo, a free demo that you can play with. And then, you know, just really file it in your brain. There are a ton of ways of doing it. The videos that I did of quilting in the hoop, I printed out paper templates and cut them out so I could mark my placement. Um, so it, you know, a ton of stuff. So, um, oh yeah, that's a really good point, Misha. If you attend one of the dime events that they have, they put everything on sale and or bundle it with a ton of stuff. I don't really pay attention to that because I, um, um, well, I've never been able to go to an event because they're in another country, but uh, apparently the deals are really good and, you know, the price that you see on the website, same with the main program, is not the price you pay. So, you know, um, uh, Misha says there is a demo through Toolshed. I think it's 14 days, but you can't save or stitch with it. No, that's most demos are like that. However, you could have 14 days of fun playing around. Like I said, I could play all day. So don't worry about the price. It's not about that. I mean, if you're interested, wait for a deal. Um, if you're interested but can't right now, just file it in the back of your brain as an option so because I like to one of the things that I like to do is test stuff out and try stuff out and um, show you guys what I found out and that's what this video is so hopefully there won't be too many negative comments um, but it's fun it's really fun I mean I don't think this looks good by any stretch of the imagination but it was fun to create and change the spacing and you know to show you guys that you can do two and you can have your fabric showing and everything so it's fun it's just simply fun and a shortcut so one quick announcement before i let you guys go um i'm going to be making some changes to the channel so um uh, I, I'm going to let you guys know about that. It's not going to be a huge surprise. Saturday So Long Live still stands. The rest of them might change. Um, I've, I just want to try some different things to see if we can keep the channel growing. It's kind of stalled and it's very stressful. <laughs> so I'm just going to make some changes and see if I can get more views because we've got to keep this channel going. That's how I keep going. And wouldn't it be cool if we could get it built up enough that I could just do designs like this and give them to you for free? That's what I would do. That was the end goal. So yeah, if you can, um, comment, like, uh, share if you can, get get your other embroidery friends or group friends or whatever in on it. And uh, join in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group and join the gang. It is fun. It is fun. So, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Um, even if you don't want to purchase the video, it's interesting and you've learned something new today. What have you learned? You've learned there's a super easy way of doing it. Um, you've also learned that you don't have to. You can uh, print out a template and the whole bit. So super easy and super fun. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone. Bye.